You gotta want the best out of your life for you because we only have a moment on this earth. Belief is what excels and, 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 and pushes people through the stratosphere. What I tell people is the way you get to the next level of your life is keep going. Keep going, keep running. Even when you don't even know, even get turns into chaos. You cannot be great if you cannot operate in chaos. That's my life. Because if you can operate in chaos, the world becomes Disneyland. If you're in a spot and you don't know what to do, and you're not sure where to go, and you don't know where the right direction is, start walking and start looking for opportunities. And they'll show up. Stop holding on to what someone did to you in the past. It's holding you prisoner. And because you're a prisoner, you think that everyone else is a warden trying to hold you back or hold you down. They're not. Release that so that you can be free. And because a freed man celebrates, a freed man realizes that he's no longer a slave, he is no longer bound, he is no longer limited, he no longer needs validation, you be free. Because when you find yourself free, you can operate without guilt. The moment that you start something, you will start, paths will start to clear up. And you might not know what's going to happen or how it's going to happen, but I promise you, if you pick that thing that you love, I'm talking about you really love. I'm talking about that thing that you would do for free. If you pick that, if you pick that every day, if you choose that every day, consistently, it's inevitable for you not to be successful. And those kids got to understand, you got to stay true to yourself. You got to have the ability to think for yourself. And know that sometimes you're going to have to be a man before you become one. But you're ready for it. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. There's probably like five things I could do today so that tomorrow morning is slightly better than this morning was. At least, or at least I'm not falling behind. It's not gonna be something you wanna do. There'll be things you're trying to avoid. They're snakes, essentially. If you ask yourself, instead of telling yourself, you know, what is it that I could do to set things more right today? Then you can go do it. And then you, you put the world together a little more. You also construct yourself into something that's better able to call order forth from chaos. And that makes you just incrementally stronger. How can a trial, how can a struggle, how can that hard time, how is that built in my life, right? Just because the path isn't perfect doesn't mean the purpose of the path isn't perfect for your life. A lot of times we have to go through trials in order to gain the strength. A lot of times we have to go through hard times in order to build our strongest faith. I think people give up because they don't believe what they see. People don't believe the greatness that's in it. Because the world created this superstar elite group that's just human, just like us. But when we see them on television, we look at them as higher than us. We look at them in a place where we, can ne we think we can never get to. And the real reason is, most people never get out the stands and get in the game. They stay fans their whole life. So I tell everybody, get off the stands and get in the game. Get in the game of life and leave your mark here. Every human being on this earth has their own journey. And when you don't focus on yours, you will not bring the great gifts and things that you were supposed to bring to the world. 
When you're in the mirror in the morning, don't just give affirmations. Give yourself accountability. Give yourself the truth. Today, I will be honest in all my dealings. Today, I will be confront those who have done me wrong in a mature and professional way. Well, you can either lift up a cross or have one dropped on you. You need something beyond that. Why? Because life in some ways is unbearable. And so you need something worth bearing to make it bearable. And life is very heavy load. And so that means you have to carry something very heavy to justify it. Like the best gift come from the bottom. Like only in the womb of a woman can a man breathe underwater. Like God leaves your gift at the bottom of the stairs, and it's up to you to climb up those stairs and get your gift. See, I think that when you decide to take a leap and you handle the challenges that you're facing, read something about fear. That's one of the things that keeps us from beginning to live life. People take the courage to journey into the center of their fear. They find nothing. It is only many layers of fear being afraid of itself. And Eleanor Roosevelt said, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You're able to say to yourself, I've lived through this power. I can take the next thing that comes alone. You must do the thing you cannot do. Your feelings don't matter. You may feel like doing something, maybe you don't feel like doing something, doesn't matter. If you gaze into the abyss long enough, you see the light, not the darkness. It's like gaze upon that which you are most afraid of. But that story doesn't end there. 